Hey everybody, it's Toby on the Truck, and I want to welcome you back to my channel. So before this video starts, I just want to let you know I have gotten a bit through it. Um, for some reason my recording stopped up. I got up to the part where um, I was helping this guy with the jelly bean contest, and then my laptop just went. I don't know what, what happened, like, it must have been the recording stuff. Mike, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Spring, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Goddamn right you will, Alex. Actually did do Maybe. it. Maybe. Uh, I gave Steph a rose, downstairs. and then I did the jelly bean contest, and my recording just stuffed up. Right. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Alright, so I'll grab the USB stick. Okay, time to head downstairs. Alright, get dressed. Yes, to get Max's Jane Doe outfit going on. Here we go. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Nice. Who's playing? Local band. You'll love them. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Text me when it's ready. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. All right, let's do this. Get that rose. is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude, thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. 
Alex said enthusiastically. Alright, now let's go to the jelly bean counter and hope this doesn't screw me again. See you in a bit, Steph. 232? 233? 230. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? It's always more than you think it is. I'd say like 800 or so. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. Here's where my recording... Oh, 800's actually in. not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, I, remember I was close? Maybe I should say something. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me. They're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes! Your secret's mine. I've never seen uh. anyone so focused on a jelly bean jar. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. Best sport. The jelly bean guessing contest is ended. Congratulations to our winner, Hector. Thank you, thank you. Hold the applause. Crap, I thought it was going until midnight. Normally, yes, but we had the perfect guess. No way, someone actually won it this time? Yeah, I'm surprised. It's been, what, four years? I think five. Bing. Best. Ever. And so, peace returned to the Jellybean Kingdom. Oh, she's big. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. I totally forgot about, uh... Drugs for makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Two faced bitch. Hi, Alex. Wanted to wish you a wonderful spring festival. Unfortunately, I have to work through it this year, but I really appreciate that conversation earlier today. It was great in the night, man. Thanks, Diane. The feeling is mutual. You're going down, Diane. Right. Hey. Haven't done spoken How's it to coming? Way. Huh? Good. Not before. I'm just doing that I'd now. say the chances of starting a fire are low to medium low. Take a look around here, so what do I meant to do? Just explore the festival. Diorama. Oh, it's a town of haven. Wow. This is a beautiful model. There's the bridge. I gotta say, this really makes the town look smaller than it is. Well, to be fair, you only do get to explore a small area, but the model makes it even look smaller. It happened last year. Yep. I remember it clear as day. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk boy. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. Despite my occupation, Spring Fest is different from the lantern. We all agree. 
But anyway, I'll it's cut some racing out of the diner. But this Hold over a couple of makes it all along the way. While. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. I see him. It's nice to see Jed so in his element. Because I know what he's aiming for. And sure as hell, this son of a bitch jumps right off the end of the dock. I love that the radio the station water. broadcast Smack. live from the park. Right? It almost. Oh, God, what's this? What's this? What's this? The black paste of P. O. O. Of P. Oddly's traveling circus. Oddly's traveling circus and its crown drool, the Black Beast, toured the United States in the 1930s and early 1940s before P. Oddly's untimely demise here in Haven Springs, Colorado. This ill fated performance lingered in Haven's history for decades after, and whispers of the beast remain even today. The crown, drew, the crown jewel of Oddly's traveling circus was known as the Black Beast. Likely a melanistic color variant of Panthera onca. Wit witness accounts, however, defy the traditional understanding of the species given its unusual large size and unnatural longevity. The, the Black Beast was scheduled to appear at a show in Haven Springs on July 27, 1944. That night, an incident during the performance allowed the Black Beast to escape into, a, into the mountain wilds, killing several performers in the process. Nowadays, hikers, hunters, and the adventure and the adventurers at heart still report sightings of a large shadow stalking the mountainside of Avon Springs. Presented by Avon Springs Historical Preservation Society. Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, yeah, I believe huh? does not look happy. But those bars are so thin, so I think the Valkyrie could get out any time she wants. This is awesome! Favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. This is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, I get it. The wheels on the bus, they go around and around. The autumn leaves, they keep falling down. And I find a feel, I found a place. Ryan. Oh, everything set. Meet me at stage. On my way, Steph. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. I better head back. Just want to look around a bit more first. Oh, Mr. Lantern. I love so what you've done with you. Where's the Lord. after party this year? Hello. After party? Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? <laughs> Who's going first? Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? I just fucking love that, just playing a mini game where you gotta do body shots and beat Eleanor. That'd be amazing. Enjoy your night. You too. God, I just hope Riley is doing all right. Oh no. What happened to Riley? Uh oh. New dialogue. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, she's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Okay. That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. 
I better get going. Poor Riley, waiting for a bus all alone. But thank God she never found out about my condition. Riley went to the bus stop alone. The bus stop. I wonder why. So can I go to the bus stop or can I not leave this area? Okay, so there's this young farm maid in the elvish country. Thank you, Steph. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. Good luck with that, sign. She picks up Mercy. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. Alright, so head to the bus stop. New minor. No, Mom, it's not an emergency. Trust Typhon is not normal. I made a mistake coming here. Get out while you can, dude. Grand opening tomorrow! I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right, Alex Chen. Alex Chen? Didn't we speak already tonight? Nope. Stupid, so stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town, I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. That's a good idea. Best of luck. Gotta pull my shit together for this grand opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Free food goes a long way in Haven. All right, the bus stop's down by the bridge. That's where Alex... Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. The beginning, chapter one. The LARP was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Do you think there's hot? I still like her so much. Are you hungry? What do I do? I you might be. Sorry, man. Forbidden love is a bitch. Are you? Not really. But that's nice of you. Right. Cool. Here is there no memories I need to look at? I, I see a bus. Wait, is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. That, that must be Riley. Didn't expect that him playing my favorite game would be a turn on. But what, what? Here we are. Okay then. Riley? No, no, it's not Riley. Be gone, random NPC. Alright, so the buses, that's the bus stop. I thought that was a bus. No, it's a bus stop. Alright, is that Riley? I see. Straight ahead. Okay, Brian, here I am. Just waiting at the bus stop. About to change my entire life. I've been there. Bus stop, you don't have any glowy memories for me, no? Speak. Hey, Riley. Oh, hi, Alex. What are you doing out here? Just out for a walk. You? Can't tell that woman anything. <laughs> My bus comes tonight, and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. I get that. I'm really going to miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. <laughs> I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but sometimes I wonder if I should really be leaving her here alone. Eleanor is keeping her condition a secret, but I feel like Riley would want to know. What should I do? Keep Eleanor's confidence. So 
bad condition. No, no, um, uh, I'm sorry, little, but Riley, R Riley needs to spread her wings and fly away. She's got to go to college. You can do it, Eleanor. Eleanor is so proud of you. All she wants is for you to follow your dreams. You're right, of course. Good luck with everything. We're rooting for you. Thanks, Alex. Have a great time at the festival. I'll try. Okay, so now I just go back and see Ryan at the festival. And all will be good. Faster, Alex. Faster. Yeah, hot. push it in the high gear. Let's go. There's nothing over here. No memories or nothing. There's people here, but no memories. What are you so happy about? We are ice cream geniuses. Like we that. run this shit. Like Keep flexing, ice cream lady. Sweet, but I think I'll avoid touching this bench. Lauren just Plus to be safe. Spring Festival 2019. Oh, the merry go round or whatever it's called. Crap. Was I supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? If this is a date, it's a really silent one. Should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Aww. Look at the hang of this one day, or not. Bouncy house. That poor bouncy house. No one can bounce on it. Oh, oh shit. No memory. Hey, hello, everybody. Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is just the most beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I could make you my wife. You had to go and make a scene, didn't you? What the, what the hell am I? I'm so lost now. Oh, here we go. Hey! Oh, hey. Just in time. So... And there's live music time for able listeners. Start making your way over the stage. Make sure you get a spot. Who's playing? Spot. Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Oh, wait, who else? Oh, you're gonna get Steph to play on stage, aren't you? Steph! That's right, because it's in the trailer they show where she's playing. Who else is playing? Steph. Well, Steph's playing the drums, I mean. I hate you both. Lol. We didn't want you to wuss out. Wussing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. Do I get to choose what to this play? This is gonna be or? awesome. Trust me. <sighs> um, we've never played together before, and uh... anyway. Sorry if this sucks. <sighs> Fuck it.
nothing. I'm so strung out. I'm high as a kite, and I just might stop to check you out. Let me go on. they can read lips then hopefully they'll be able to understand the song but if, you, if they can't then I just feel so sorry for, for all the deaf people like they probably don't even know that I feel sorry for them because they probably can't hear me I've got no subtitles here so sorry deaf people oh there's Charlotte I'm sorry I didn't get rid of your anger, Charlotte, but I could not handle that toxic anger you had on you. It was too much. I'm sorry. Plus, I didn't want to do anything to fuck up my chances. I was horrible to you earlier. You really weren't. Really. Then I fucked up, because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were gonna be best friends. <laughs> yeah, we can still be best friends. There's, there's still time. I wish. Yeah, there's still time. There's still time. Maybe. <sighs> I guess we'll see. If you must wait, wait for them here in my arms as I. Those scenes where I have to press space. Yeah, I think hey. it is. Yeah. Because sometimes okay? how they get you. Sometimes it's like I don't know if it's a cutscene or if it's just a no. moment. I don't know if it's a cutscene where I, I have to wait for it to end or if I have to press space. Well, you know. Some they, they sometimes get me in this. I'm gonna go. Thanks you, um, whoop, just go up a little, um, Hero, dude, you so much, dude, thank you so much, you totally killed it, award-winning bard, um, ah, oh, no, that's for the laugh, hey, come meet me at the rooftop, sure thing. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. on the phone. That rocked. Damn right it did. The rooftop with the black lantern, right? That's really the only rooftop I know. It was so fun watching Jed play the villain. What a good sport. Oh, no, but the duckies here. 
Was on your mind, that It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha. Sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. Hey, Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. And it's funny, you normally have so much to say. Okay. There's got to be more I can do for Ducky. All right, let's go for Ducky. Okay. Tell me what I need to know to help him. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. I've never heard someone have themselves be called Tabs. Ah, so we got that there. There's nothing over there. No. Right, let's go to this table. Wait, wait, don't drink it. Look at the bottom. There a ring? What? What are you? Uh, oh, Ducky. It's beautiful. Tabitha Baker. Yeah, both so. Will you marry me? About two marriage proposals in one walkthrough. Maybe there'll be a third. Happy anniversary. Then. There is a third. Here's to another Alex 30 years. In and the another lot. 30 festivals. If we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. something I can do. I don't even know what that song is that was playing. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest? That's right. I don't know if it's wooden bear. Did you actually carve that wooden bear? Grana? Sure did. That was a long time ago. The Spring Festival must have been important to you two. Indeed. We were married at the festival. We both loved it so much. You met Tabitha here, didn't you? In the lantern. Yes, I did. Being here on that night was the luckiest I've ever been. Give me one sec. How did you... They're playing your song. Let's dance. Maybe that's why he likes drinking alcohol. So are we going to learn how Tabitha died or... 
That what happened. You know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. That was Tabs. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very welcome. Enjoy the festival. I know I just want to check back here again. Nothing else here, no. Alright. Let's go meet Steph on the roof. I'm coming, Steph. Hold on. Alright, so I got it right. It's this rooftop, because it's the only rooftop I know in the game. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. <sighs> yeah, I'm so happy for you, but what about me? Holy God, shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. How could you, you think be it's so that easy selfish, to get rid of Steph. me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. <sighs> You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one. Well, obviously, we're choosing Salem because the Salem's where witches are and the LARP and everything, so obviously, Salem. Especially her, that witches had Salem. Salem. Halloween capital of the world. Or so they say. <laughs> Who do I hang out with? Which mass or witches, of course. You join a coven. A lesbian coven. Jeez. Is there any other kind? <laughs> you hang out in graveyards and perform rituals to speak to the dead. None of which ever work, but that's okay. Because I get a load of old tombstone rubbings to decorate my apartment with. What the hell are tombstone rubbings? That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To Salem? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. All right, so. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there, or I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. All right, so I take it by this, that means like at the ending, there's gonna be an ending where I can choose to stay in Haven Springs Look. or leave Haven Springs. I don't want to pressure you. I don't know. But I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. 
You mean the fucking world to me. Oh, uh, yes. Going in for that kiss. It's like I'm gonna hug. But that the hug would be like, what? Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Just going for a hug instead of a kiss? Does that mean, okay, the hug is just like, you're, you're in the friend stones, Steph? Yes. Finally. Okay then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Was that what like um, Steph was feeling when Alex kissed her? Or is that meant or is that explosion meant to be a euphemism for something? You don't have to decide anything now. Okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. to give that USB stick to Pike. Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible. Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also... His Steph, so that happened. You're goddamn right, it happened. I think that's it, is that it? Just give it a few more. Uh, I think that's it. Let's go see Pike. There he is. Alex. You have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. Oh, no. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. Ah, oh, son of a bitch bastard. What the hell, Pike? Seriously? Oh, that better not be where it ends. God damn it. I, I cannot believe you're doing this, this to me, Pike. Probably isn't how you... Pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? How about a beer? How about a beer? 
worth a shot. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. Yeah, that's bullshit. What is this? That's bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. Yeah, you need to. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. It's right fucking there in front Sorry, of you. Sorry, Alex. What do you mean the evidence isn't there? Do I have to, like, draw you a map or something? I have the evidence. Right here. It doesn't matter. Look. What happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not, but it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. What Seems do you mean? pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. Oh, fucking Diane. That was close. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Fuck off. Yeah, why, why the deal? Why are you... Why would she do that? Yeah, wh why is she doing that? She this? just wants this whole thing to go away. This is how to make that happen. Nah, she's trying to save her own sorry ass, because if the investigation Fuck does that. happen, then... I'm not signing then anything. Typhon can use Diane as a scapegoat. Alex, no. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. Hell no. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No, it's not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. What is it? Shit. What could be in that envelope? Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. What is this? 
<coughs> Typhoon Mining Security. Threat Evaluation. Subject, Chen Alexandra. Anti-Typhoon Sentiment. Brother Gabriel Chen died in an accident related to Typhoon Mining Blast. Assessment. Intel shows subject has a high level of determination and efficiency. Negative eff affection has persisted beyond pre predicted uh, bereavement period. Suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data and information. Pre priority 1, immediate action required. You've been spying on her too. HSB Private Investigation Services. Uh, um, Alexandra Chen, investigation type, threat assessment, Observa observation dates, 5th slash 1 dash 5 slash 25th slash 2019, investigation summary, 5th of the 1st, uh, began following subject after meeting with Mac Loudon, subject met, met with men identified as Ryan Lucan to the worst of no, 513, subject spent 3 hours in apartment, Wi-Fi screens monitoring, revealed searches into Typhoon's history, and legal litigation records. 5th to 25th, subject met and spoke with client in the Black Lantern. It appears subject has stolen an object from client. Typhoon mining security, threat evaluation, subject Lucan, Ryan, anti-typhoon sentiment, close friend Gabriel Chan, died in an accident related to typhoon mining blast. <coughs> ass 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 assisting, sorry, assessment. Assisting Alex Chen with her efforts against Typhoon. Involved in an extremely distraught over accident. Subject has high level of knowledge of both geography and residence of Haven. Threat priority 1. Immediate action required. Oh, and that's when I hugged Ryan there, so... So if I would have... Um... Wait a minute. I didn't hug Ryan there. No, no, no. That was in a different walkthrough. I shook his hand. What is this? It's some bullshit. No, I, I hugged him in my third save file because that's because I'm romancing Ryan in the third save file. This is, this is a lie. Or unless, oh no, that's when, that's when um, you think Ryan's gonna jump off the cliff and he was crying and Alex hugged him. Okay, okay, my bad. Ah, oh, and I got step two. Typhoon mining security threat evaluation subject Grin Gritch S Stephanie. Anti typhoon sentiment. Close friend Gabriel Chen died in an accident related to typhoon mining blast. Assessment. Assisting Alexandra Chen in her efforts has proven resourceful and dangerous. Threat priority two. Immediate action recommended. So, and that says. So is it like DEFCON, the DEFCON numbers, where DEFCON 1 is the highest and DEFCON 5 is the lowest threat? Or something like that? Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. No, I don't know, man. But I don't know. I was just focused on getting the truth. The truth mm -hmm. is that you have no idea what Typhon is capable of. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. I want to hurt Typhon so bad, but can I really yeah. put their lives at risk along with mine? Oh, 
obviously I'm not going to sign the affidavit, but if I do sign it, does that like mean I'm going to get a different ending? Where Alex just gives up the investigation? That'd be interesting to see, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to risk taking Pike Spear, and in, in my and since I'm low wolfing it in my save file too, I'll have a look what happens if I sign the affidavit. Give me that fear, Pike. Do you want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? Fuck, fuck, fuck! Just keep your head down, Donnie. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears, people. Let them get killed, not you. Alright, took away his fear. I, think, I know you're yeah. afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. I just need your help. Gabe. If not for me, then for Gabe. Please. Fuck. I'll think about it. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Don't you need to escort me Alex, off the premises? Be careful. Is this Alex? Come see me when you get the chance, Jed. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if? Oh no. I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. It was special for me too, Steph. Sadly, the Spring Festival Enjoy is over, that ice cream. but the fun continues at Avalanche Ice Cream. Share your favorite memory from the festival in the comments and get one scoop on us. <clears throat> I liked when Josh burned his mouth in the chili. I didn't. Better get a free scoop on that burn stat. The music hands down. What's it? I finally grew a pair and told a special girl how... How special she is, and the scariest part was wasn't telling it. It was realizing how dumb I was for waiting so long. Damn, I think you deserve two scoops for that one. Hell yeah. Right, does that letter have any? No. Oh, okay. Let me just take a quiet moment just to sit down. I had no idea what I was getting into, did I? Buried secrets, evil mining corporations, death threats. I 
I didn't realize how awful it would all be. I put my friends' lives in danger. For what? Was it all for nothing? Can I share this now with you? Can I hold you in my arms? Alright, let's get out of this. A dress. I don't know how this is a dress. I mean, it's a skirt, but. Let's see how it's a dress. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Can I change it or not? I look better than I feel. Okay, so I keep this on. There's nothing over here. I can't go up. No. I feel a bit better. Let's go see the boss man now. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? I'm gonna take a shot first before I get into these details. <sighs> Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. No. I don't even know No, no, next. no, not you, Jed. But I'm not don't giving Don't do up. this to me, man, no. I, I, you better not, not be ever. guilty. You, it better just be an uncomfortable situation here. Don't tell me you feel... Don't tell me you're involved, man. Come on, please, no. Ah, oh, fuck. No. I know what they're hiding. God damn it. What is it? Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. What is so important that they buried in the mountain? Like, what is it like? An alien ship? Like a hidden underground base? There, up ahead. Like zombies? Is it zombies? Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? 
ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. sad. No. What? No, no, come on. Someone has a gun on Jed. Come on, don't be Jed. Don't. Oh, you fucker. No, I'm don't. sorry, kid. This is bullshit. I fucking like you, kid. Fucking put the gun down. Okay. Just put the gun down. I tried to talk you out of it, scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. What was that? The Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. I promise I'll still I'll still like you. Go to hell. Oh shit, what? Oh my god, that is. That is such bullshit. There's no way Alex can survive that. Well, obviously she's gonna survive, but... Because, like, fucking plot armor, but she... Oh, no network connection, that's bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you, shitty internet. Alright. Uh, Pike let Alex, Alex go after she removed his... Fear... Alex gave a rose to Steph. Alex had a nice moment by the bonfire. Alex took a minute to reflect before talking with Jed. Fucking Jed, I cannot believe this. Steph and Alex mused about moving to Salem. Steph didn't meet Alex on the rooftop. Steph and Alex shared a kiss. Steph and Alex. Steph didn't meet Alex on the rooftop. Yeah, I got that fucking kiss, alright, yes. So Ryan and Alex mused about her walk well, about her working in the record store. Ryan and Alex mused about her working in the Black Lantern. All right, so you can share a kiss or hug with Ryan. Didn't meet him on the rooftop. So if I'm just lone wolfing it, then I'm not going to meet any of them on the rooftop, am I? It's just going to be meeting up Pike. Alex and Char Charlotte shared a bittersweet moment in the festival. Charlotte felt weirdly detached at the festival. Riley went away to college. Alex revealed Eleanor's illness and Riley stayed. Riley had already, already decided not to go to school. Alex didn't find Riley at the bus stop. Ducky joined the festival after dancing with Alex. Alex helped the jelly bean counter win the contest. Alex helped the diner buyer with his my blog post. Uh, Alex didn't help them admit their feelings. Fucking hell, man. Okay. I gotta say, like... Well, I did not see that twist coming. I was thinking, oh, God, come on, don't do this. I was like, as soon as I heard the gun click, I was like, it's fucking Diane, isn't it? Or that bullshit investigator that was taking the photos. I was like, that that was probably who followed them up there. But oh, fucking Jed, man, just... And I like Jed. It's, like, it's not like with Nathan Prescott. I mean, he's a fucking dick. But no, I actually like Jed. Fuck, man. God damn it. Alright, so anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Toy Gamer Junkie, signing off.